Okay, quick story time. I don't want to take too much of your time, but I do want to share with you why I opened Andrew's Attic and what it is and what it means to me. So I am an educator. Uh, I believe growth is simply a mindset to where anybody can persevere, anybody can grow, anybody can learn, whether it, we just might take different paths to get there, but we can all get there. If it's worked with a lot of young mothers or those um, who come from bigger families, a lot of large families, that where the older sibling who may be 15 or 16 year old had to take the bulk of the caretaking for the rest of their younger siblings. Um, this can pose a large struggle um, because the parent is either working multiple jobs or other environmental circumstances have their parents' attention and the older sibling takes on the role of taking care of their younger one. Before I had my child, I would have a lot of clothing that I just never used. Um, I either never used or wore a couple times and they would just be stored in bins. When we were doing some spring cleaning, people would give hand-me-downs. I do have three nieces. So they would give hand-me-downs of things they're not using anymore, like quality, great clothing in great condition, minimal wear and tear. So I would donate this thing, these things to the school because we had students going out on job interviews. We had students going, just, just needing clothes in general, just from their parents of coming to school. Now, on the flip side, I've seen where parents were decked out, beautiful, gorgeous kings and queens, and they would bring their kids to school and their kids vibe when it matched mama or daddy's vibe or uncle's vibe or auntie's vibe if you know what I mean so mom dad guardian whomever will look decked out from head to toe yet child or children will look like they're struggling and this I have a really difficult time um, dealing with in my heart because kids don't ask to be here they they are here because they need to be taken care of um, they need to be guided. They need to be reared. And so when they're given in that type of situation, there's not much they can do as a young child because what, what do you know? You're depending on your parent to take care of you, right? I would ask my sisters um, for my niece's clothing to like, hey, can you just send it to me? And then I would donate, right? So we're going to fast forward a couple years, had a child on my own, and I realized how expensive kids clothing and items really are most young kids want to you know um, you know have things that are in style and so when you would pitch things like hey maybe you can you know go to the store maybe go to this garage sale maybe you know take a few of these hand-me-downs there was always this stigma behind it like ew no that's dirty that's this that's that now I did have some students that really appreciated that now, I'm not gonna say it does happen on it I, I've experienced both ends so don't come for me for anything because I did ha I did experience both both sides of the, the fence. When I donated these clothes, um, there were times where students had like interview day, mock interview day, or they were going in there were going on the test day, and so they would try on these clothes and the joy that would be on their face by them feeling like they look so good, they look presentable, they are confident in what they're wearing, so they feel confident in their interview, melted my heart. Like, though, that pulled at my heartstrings so much. And becoming a first-time mom, understanding how expensive items can be, um, is where I start to kind of, like, how can I do more? How can I give more? And when I realized that my son was growing out of clothes left and right, and we all know we get we get gifts from baby showers, we get gifts year round from from loved ones, friends, friends even give him and I take hand me downs. I love I love them. Like I'm not opposed to those at all. I love hand me downs. So friends give me those, but you you turn around, you blink, your child grows out of things so fast, and so a lot of times there would be clothes that have been worn once or twice clothes that still had tags on them that have never been worn right and all i would do is have them in boxes and totes in the basement in the room stacking them all over the place at one point i even said well man i think i might need to get a storage because there's just not enough space so i prayed on it i thought about it and boom that is where i thought about 
Andrew's Attic. Andrew's Attic is a way to provide stylish, affordable clothing, apparel, toys to both kids and at this time women, but I'm sure we will expand more to the families with the most simplistic budget. Um, I see a lot of families attempting to live beyond their means because they want to look like what's in the magazines, what's on movies, what's in style, right? And there's no reason that somebody with a lower budget or a simplistic budget cannot be feel stylish, feel confident in what they're wearing because we all know when you look good, you feel good. And from feeling good, you build a level of morale, you build a level of confidence that helps you persevere and be go out there and grab your blessings. Go out there and chase your dreams. Go out there and be successful because you're hungry for it, because you feel good, you feel confident to do so. I want to chip away at this myth of thrift. Thrifts are nasty, they're dirty, blah, blah, blah. Clothes can be washed, okay? Clothes can be cleaned. Just like you are putting hand sanitizer, washing your hands, and you wash your clothes every day that you wear them, it's the same way your clothes from either a thrift, a garage sale, or whatever can be washed and cleaned. You will find clothes that have tags on them, never been worn, brand spanking new, but beautiful clothing. But they're missed because of all the stigmas against thrifting right so let's knock all that out i'll do it for you i love shopping i love thrifting by no means as you can see am i like a fashionista because i am not i like the simple things in life i'm very simple but i like to look good i like to feel good i like to feel confident in whatever i am doing but it's me i don't go off of what other people like i go off of what i like so Andrew's Attic is a way to chip uh, down that stigma of the myths of thrift and start understanding and seeing that, hey, I can get really great stuff. I can get fashionable, stylish items for a fraction of the cost that fits in the means of my budget. Living outside your budget is the pipeline to debt. Stop trying to keep up with the Joneses. They're not trying to keep up with you. Only you know your budget. You know what you can afford. You know what you can afford for yourself. You know what you can afford for your family. So why try to go out there and get some designer bag or whatever that you cannot necessarily afford because if by affording that, something else is going to take the hit, such as your rent, your car note, your kid's tuition, um, and that includes daycare tuition. I'm talking about for primary level kids. I pay tuition for, for my son and he's three. And we begin to start robbing Peter to pay Paul. And it's not necessary because there's so many brands and items that are available to those that are with the most simplistic budget that you can look phenomenal, look like a million bucks. There's a couple people that I do follow um, and I'll, I'll tag them below that does a phenomenal job with this going in thrift stores and making up these beautiful styles and I wish I had the talent to do that but that's not my talent my talent is education and my talent is loving a sale loving a bargain listen I love a sale and so you don't want to go in a thrift store you don't want to you don't want to tackle that beast Andrew Zadek will tackle it for you Visit our site, angelsaddict.org, and see all the wonderful things that we have and so much more to come of uh, the item, stylish items and fashionable items that you can get for just a fraction of the cost. And you're not beating your pockets to, to buy it, right? We're going to knock out that myth of thrift. Visit angelsaddict.org. Look out for exclusive giveaways, promotions, sales that I'm going to have. And inventory comes in daily, essentially. Sometimes I have opportunity posted, sometimes I don't, but I will start to uh, get a lot better with that. You're going to see so many, a plethora of items, a plethora of apparel that will not hurt your pockets. I promise you. So 
comment below let me know your feedback um once you visit andrewsedit.org let me know some things that you might like to see some things that you think are great and i need more of or some constructive feedback of what i can do to make andrew's edit better i am um educator at heart i'm a lifelong learner so any feedback is helpful uh and it helps me to develop and grow um to support our journey together and knocking down this myth to thrift so i hope you love the website i hope you love my story time and the reason why andrew's edit came to be and again look out for more opportunities more exclusive um giveaways and more items that are coming in our store daily that would be look beautiful on your children look beautiful on you and look beautiful hanging in your closet smile on purpose because it takes more more muscles to frown than the smile. Love you guys. Bye.